Hello, Steemit. Hello, YouTube. Um, CryptoG here, just coming at you with another Pixlr video tutorial. Uh, this one, I thought I would show you how to change a sky and give it a bit more texture. Um, and, you know, kind of raise a kind of flat looking sky. I mean, if we look here, um, this picture here, it does have detail in it. Now, I'm not sure you probably won't be able to see this on the screen, but um, I'm seeing, you know, faint hints of pink around here. We've got some white fluffy clouds up here. But, you know, when we view the picture at first, it, it looks barely flat. So we're going to try and bring that out. OK, so the first thing I've done, as you can see over here, I've duplicated the layer five times, uh, sorry, four times. So I've got my original and four duplicates and I've called them gray, orange, pink and yellow. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off all of the layers apart from our gray layer. OK, and then we're going to come over to the color selection tool. Uh, sorry, the color replacement tool I should say come over to color replacement tool and choose a color so we're now going to go I'm actually going to go with the web colors and I'm going to choose a sort of darkish gray right here yep okay and then we're simply going to go onto our brush a uh, nice big brush da -da -da -da. Um, and we're just going to color, color that in. No, we're on the wrong layer, so I'm going to go back. Um, and we're going to go gray. Okay, now as you'll see, you keen eyed people, um, this isn't completely gray. I'm just going to undo that last bit. This isn't completely gray. That's because we've got match lightness and we've got a, a tolerance of 48. Now, if we want it kind of more gray, we can turn up. Uh, I don't want those. Yeah, we don't mind that actually. Hints, hints of gray. You can see as I sort of patch over where I've already been and it's kind of more pinky. And that's because it's trying to change the color as it kind of would. It's trying to um, compensate for that. You'll also notice that I'm not being that careful going over our subject here. I'm not really bothered about that. Okay, that's enough. Now I'm going to add a layer mask. So off we go, we add a layer mask. So the layer is now masked. We're going to turn that off. I'm going to pop up to our orange layer and we're going to turn on our orange layer. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. Come over I've actually got an orange right here. I'm going to cancel that. Uh, you can see on my palettes below, I've got an orange and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'll just bring you back um, when I've basically done all of the layers. So obviously I'm going to do orange, add a layer mask, then I'm going to do pink, add a layer mask, do yellow, add a layer mask, then I'll call you back. I'll bring you back. Hi there, Steemians. Um, so I finished that. Um, the only thing you'll notice, the more keen-eyed amongst you there, will notice that uh, I actually duplicated the background layer once more, took the layer to the top and called it white. Um, and also, as you can see, I, um, I whacked the tolerance all the way up so that I would get a kind of less patchy feel and as you can see we're still patchy but you know we're okay and it's quite pinky I haven't really got it it's not true white but uh, you know due to how it's trying to actually exchange the color rather than um, sorry replace the color rather than you know mat it over it uh, has this patchy effect okay so I'm just going to add the layer mask to that and off we go now we can turn on the background layer, which is our original layer. Uh, we're going to turn off that layer for now. 
and we're going to start with our pink. Why not? Let's start with our pink. So we're going to go over to here. Uh, she's pink. And then we're going to go over to our brushes, our palette over here on the left. We're going to choose our brush. I'm just going to move that down slightly and come up to here. Now I've already got clouds added, but uh, just to quickly show you, just in case you haven't done this before, you come over to your brushes, you go more. Uh, we're going to go to nature and we're going to choose clouds. I load up our cloud brushes and we can just simply add those and here they are so now we're going to go now the only thing i've got to say about this really is the it's kind of complete the effect if you kind of go from using the biggest kind of clouds at the top of the picture um and the smallest ones you know at the bottom so like so say for instance you wanted to use this same brush um i'd come down here i'd make the diameter really small and kind of use it um, i'm actually going to do exactly that but on the yellow layer because i want it to seem like the sun's fairly low um yeah kind of lowish mid middling in the sky Okay, so I'm going to turn off the pink layer um, and I'm going to come on to the yellow layer and I turn them on and off to, so that I don't get confused as to which layer I'm working on and the overall effect. Just going to come in there and just start painting in, probably use a different um, cloud for that. But um, again, I'll bring you back because obviously this is going to take a while. Um, to just mess about with and, and get nice and um, that's the kind of cloud brush I want I'm going to come down and I'm going to use this quite close to the horizon there we go just ones like that okay so yeah so I'll bring you back in a sec well a second for you not for me <laughs> and um, we'll finish off the tutorial Okay, hi Steamians, um, you just sort of catch me uh, just kind of in the middle of this. I thought I'd kind of bring you back and just sort of talk about building up the effect because that's, you know, that's really what this is all about. Um, so I'll just sort of turn off the layers so that you can kind of see if I turn off white, uh, yellow, you should start to see them. Let me br bring it even closer actually so that you can... Uh, fully appreciate that um, uh, let's turn off the pink layer there we go and finally the orange layer now I'll turn that layer back on now now as you can see you know we're just being I've just been adding in little parts of the uh, sky in Sorry, let me just turn this back on and I can speak properly. Right, so yeah, I've been using various of these brushes and kind of going in between the eraser and the brushes. So what am I on there? I'm on the yellow. I don't want to be on the yellow. I actually want to be on the orange layer um, and go with the brushes. Now, this is why it's good to work on just one or two layers at once because sometimes you do obviously want to see how the layers kind of marry up together. And now I'm looking at the orange in, and the uh, yellow. And yeah, I quite like that. Um, I'd quite like to use this here, just on the orange. There we go. Just kind of use that there. Um, and then we'll, oh no, sorry, I was on a, I was on the racer, so use that there. And, um, and yeah, basically just carry on building up. Now, the thing is with a lot of these effects, obviously it's, it's a lot of trial and error, what looks good, what looks natural. Um, and, you know, you've got to just kind of play around 
with that and I find just adding with the brushes and then maybe using a different shaped brush um, at a different kind of diameter that's kind of that's kind of nice actually for a natural brush rather than an eraser and just yes making a a note of the brushes you're using as you're kind of going along there there we go i just now want to see how that looks in relation to the pink so i'm going to add in the pink and i see yeah the pink's looking okay and that could maybe do with a bit more so i'm going to come up here and yeah i'm going to go to that thousand that i just discovered there and i'm going to put in a bit of pink put in a bit of pink there and i'll, I'll take some away uh, let's put some right in the corner of the sky here. A bit there as well. There we go. It's a bit like that. That's quite nice. I like that. And so yeah, that will be that'll be what I'll be doing now for a little while. Um, let's go to my grey layer there uh, on some really small ones. This is one of those ones where I think it's important to kind of see more of the process rather than just keep skipping ahead and that's kind of why I've why I've brought you back at uh, this juncture because um, yeah I do believe that it's it's worth seeing this because you know I could just jump ahead show you the finished product and then you go off try and recreate it and you're like mm, i wish i'd seen more of the uh, process so that's kind of you know this is kind of what i'm doing here and let's go with an eraser what are we on yeah let's use a little bit of that in there and you see how sometimes i'll use little tiny parts of the eraser um, and the brush in fact you know it's it's kind of using that technique regardless of whether you're on eraser or or brush um, and so yeah we can keep going keep going and in the end what I'm hoping for is just something it's just a bit subtle you know probably a bit more subtle than this um, and you know perhaps some of the harsher colors so let's work on the gray here i'll turn off the others okay hi steam it sorry i don't know how i'm going to edit this or i'm going to just bring you back after i say goodbye but actually uh i just wanted to quickly say um to finish the effect um instead of using gaussian blur what you're going to do is come over to the left choose the blur tool and then uh, you can actually choose some of these cloud br brushes and uh, make sure they're really small and you can just go over some of these imperfect bits um, and blur sort of the layers you want um, and you know just kind of go through and do various blurs so yeah I just wanted to kind of bring you back and just tell you that before before going because um, I think it's important to finish off the effect and you're going to see that effect um, when I release the video. Okay, so for the second time, <laughs> see you later, Steamer.